YouTubers, welcome back to Desert Have a Garden. We are here at the High Desert Homestead again today and the weather is changing. So unlike where we live, um, we actually get seasons up here because it is about 5,500 feet elevation and it is the middle of October now. So it has rained quite a bit up here. Um, it is currently pretty wet. Um, all of our dirt is wet. It's a little bit muddy around here. Um, there's a little bit of water accumulated down in blocks and stuff. I don't know if you can see down in the blocks there. Um, but it is cooling off, so it's cool for us. Um, though it's not a super cold day, it was much cooler last night than it is today. Um, but we have switched from summer wear to cooler weather gear. And I'll just give you a little recap of what we have done with the basement. So you can see that the walls are up to the full height, um, which is 12 blocks high, all the way around with the exception of a couple areas. So here is the entrance to the, um, the ground level stairwell out of the basement. So this is the second required basement exit. And so today Rick is going to be working on getting this all the way up to ground level. It doesn't have to go quite as high, but it does have to get up to ground level and that's where it will have the doors that swing open from there. And so there's a couple little spots over here. Oh, where is it? There. Um, so he has to get these ones cut and back up. And then there's this front wall. So he'll be bringing those up. And while he's doing that, we're gonna come over here to where the other um, stairwell will be going. So this cutout is for the second stairwell. And so these stairs will be coming up at an angle here. So we had to make this step back a little bit for that angle of the stairs and it'll continue up. So there's just like two more little rows there that have to be finished. And Steve and I are going to be working on that. And while we were here, we did put um, our family handprints into um, the concrete here. It will be mostly hidden by uh, stairs, but it is here since we don't have much of a place in the foundation to put it. Um, so there's our youngest, our oldest, our daughter, me, and my husband, and we'll get that cleaned up. So we'll be working on getting this. And then the last thing we will be working on this weekend is working on um, the laying out and mapping the footers for the rest of the cabin. So the basement is smaller than the cabin, and so we have to have footers out around the basement for the cabin to actually set on. And once all that's done, then we can call for an inspection and um, get that completed. So we are on a timeline with the county, and we do have to get progress done in order to keep our permit going. So we are going to get started on some work. Oh, rocks. More chiseling. Hey, you. Seal has been applied to the majority of the outside of the walls. Um, you can see where we hadn't done yet and still needs to be sealed at the top there. And then on the back side where this little pop-out comes, we actually backfilled um, the dirt up to this level so we can work on this level from ground level right here. So I can walk right up to it and finish these last couple rows right here. That makes it convenient. And then um, still more ceiling to do around the outside. And then once it's all filled with concrete, we can backfill the dirt for that too. And that side hasn't been sealed yet. So there is still quite a bit of work to do, but there is a lot of progress. Come on, Mom, let's go see the fort. Okay, come show me. Ooh, what's this? You've added on. Tell me about it. Oh, no. Little porch out here, right there. Okay, the porch. I see you've got a patio. You gonna wipe your muddy boots on that? Yeah. And then what? And then a lock and a door. A lock? And two and three chairs. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. 
Show me how it works. And water? There's water in there? Mm hmm Okay. Very cool. What are you doing there? Nothing. <laughs> him a new spot out of the block pile. raining again. Take a little break and switch to mud boots. Out here the clay or the soil has a lot of clay and so when you start walking around when it's wet you get taller and taller as the mud keeps sticking to your shoes. So mud boot time. Look how big my muscles are! <laughs>
think about that. A lot of fun. So we've had a slight miscalculation on the amount of mortar that is required in order to finish the block. And we are bound and determined to finish this basement project today. So um, after a lot of rain last night, um, we woke up refreshed this morning and I'm going to run into town, which is uh, really like an hour and 20 minute round trip once I get a bag or two more of mortar. Um, there's like 20 to 30 blocks left that need to be laid. The guys are going to get started because there is a half bag of mortar that they can use. Um, so I'm going to go get more, come back with it, and we'll hopefully be able to knock out the rest of this project. We've been putting the black tar seal all around the outside. Um, fortunately, we put it on early enough in the day yesterday because it is water soluble. The rain didn't affect it. It didn't start raining until like 1 or 2 a.m. this morning. Um, but we are so optimistic that we are going to be able to finish finally this basement project today. So let's get rolling. So we also need to mark the footer footings for the cabin and the only point we can use to measure off of is the back corner of the basement because as we have mentioned before, the contractor didn't make the foundation exactly perfect. So we're measuring off of this corner and we'll be marking our footings down the line. I would say this was an overall successful two days of work. As you can see, the block laying is completed for the basement. Now we will have to cut this at an angle for this doorway that um, is the secondary doorway. And we still have to fill all of the blocks with concrete around. But you can see it's all been sealed with the weather sealing and the block work is complete, which is a huge relief for us. And so we're really excited to move on to the next phase of this project. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates in the future.